This is Twit. Let's talk about what happened this week. <sighs> We've got nine months, Leo. They banned TikTok. It's like being pregnant, isn't it? <laughs> yes. You got nine months and nine, nine months, months. At the end, let's see, how can we compare TikTok? Chinese government <laughs> says, and I, you know what? People say, oh, they're just bluffing, bluff. It's all bluster. They said, no, we're not going to sell it. Bye. I completely believe them. Uh, and honestly, uh, even though there's TikTok immediately went to court and was trying to stay it, uh, A, I don't think they'll be able to stay it. And B, uh, even if they do this uncertainty hanging over, it means advertisers will draw, withdraw. Mm -hmm. Creators will move to Instagram. Congratulations, Meta. You won. You couldn't buy it. You couldn't kill it by copying it. So uh, they lobbied legislators and they got it killed. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well done. <laughs> well done. Do we have comprehensive privacy reform? No. Does the Chinese government have access to Twitter and Facebook for propaganda? Yes. Can they spy information from data brokers about every American? Yes. So have we gained anything? No. Have we lost something? Yeah. I think a pretty amazing platform for creators. I've said it all. I have nothing more to say. I just, the, the one thing that I will say is not really a say, it is an ask, which is how are they going to truly implement this ban in nine months? That'll be interesting. What they'll have to do is go to Google and Apple and say, you must remove TikTok from the app store. Mm -hmm. They'll cut off the servers. Basically, uh, we'll have to have, you know how China has the great internet firewall? That's what we're going to, and that's, I hate that. I, hate <laughs> I really that. hate that we're, we're doing not that. China. This is the whole point. Yes. By espousing democratic institutions and free speech, we are better by doing so. We, we, we make an example to the rest of the world. Yeah. Screw the example. <laughs> anyway, I know there are quite a few people who think, oh no, TikTok was a massive threat. And maybe it was, but you've done nothing to shut off any every other exactly. way every that other the Chinese government threat. can influence us. So uh, I don't know what you've succeeded at. You've done nothing except give Meta a great big boost because in all the creators, including my son, who's a big TikTok creator, uh, will go to Instagram. He's already moved to Instagram. Not all, all his followers moved, though. He had 2.6 million followers on TikTok and only 1.5 million on Insta. So there's a million people still over on TikTok, and I don't know if he'll lose them in the transition. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Weirdly, did your Apple ID get reset Thank overnight? Thank goodness I was not one who had that issue. I Yes, there are many people, it seems, whose Apple IDs were randomly weird. reset in the middle of the night and reaching out to Apple support provided no answer other than, oh yeah, something we managed to uh, that's really, it's just a hand wavy sort of, oh no, everything's fine. Um, we don't really know as it stands what happened, but some people, this is kind of wild. What was wild to me was how different the experience was for the people who had their Apple IDs reset. Sometimes it was as simple as just needing to uh, wait an hour to log back in because they had the, uh, Temporary. device protection yeah, yeah, setup. Yeah. But then some people actually had all of their app specific IDs reset as well. And that's annoying because that is a, a process that Apple uses where if you've got certain apps that need to log in with your Apple ID, these are typically going to be kind of like mail apps or contacts apps, notes apps. You uh, generate a temporary password that is separate from your actual Apple ID password. And then it kind of confirms with Apple servers, you're able to log in, et cetera. Many people had to go and regenerate all of their Apple ID uh, app-specific passwords. And that can take some time. That's cray-cray. A little cray-cray. But what's most concerning to me, the most cray-cray aspect of it is that Apple and Apple support are not saying what's going on. So why did this happen? And why did some users have it happen, but some people, some users did not? Are we going to see some sort of disclosure about what went down? Yeah. It's a very strange, weird thing happening. Anyway, we'll, you know, we'll keep you posted. Yeah. By the way, I forgot to mention, <laughs> if you weren't incensed by the ban of TikTok, which is pure political theater, in my opinion, you maybe this will incense you. The next step, they're going to ban DJI drones in the U.S. Yeah. Well, okay. So this is this is clever way to do it. Uh, 
there there is legislation in Congress right now to tell the Federal Communications Commission to block DJI on the country's communications infrastructure. To tell Verizon, T-Mobile, uh, AT and T, and et cetera, et cetera, you can't allow any DJI drones on your on your uh, 3G or your wireless. <laughs> If passed and signed into a law, it would just base... Now, good news, if you already have a DJI drone, which all of you do and I do, who doesn't, including, by the way, law enforcement, mm. uh, if you already have one, they're not going to block existing models. It'll only apply to future DJI drones. And it's the same thing. It's made in China. This... So, I, <laughs> here we go again. Uh, this feels like a ramping up. And that's what I don't like. It is a ramping up. What, what are, are they going to start banning most of my clothes too? <laughs> because well, frankly, let's see. all that uh, comes from China. Is your iPhone, where's your iPhone made? I just curious. Yeah. Where is that? I think oh, China. China. Not India. Where's my laptop? Where's your laptop? Mm, China. China. It's, see, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's theater. Um, Beijing could potentially exploit vulnerabilities in an app that controls the drone, you know, when you use a DJI, you have an app on your iPad or your Apple phone or your Google phone to gain access to large amounts of personal information. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Although a U.S. official said there are no known vulnerabilities that have not been patched. So, and they uh, are acting like this is about protecting individual users, but that's not. This is not. bipartisan support. Of course, DJI is lobbying like crazy. Um, this has been proposed in the past and failed in the past. Although the military is not allowed to use DJI drones, which is fine. That I understand. Yeah. I would be okay with the military, yeah. which I think in many cases they are, uh, military not being able to be used, uh, would not be able to use TikTok. Like that's fine to me too. If, if there's this yeah, huge concern, then, sure. By the way, uh, Ukraine uses DJI drones against Russia. Oh. That's its, one of its most popular combat drones even though they're not designed to do that finally i'll do one more and then we'll get to calls because i think we really should get to calls uh <laughs> this cracks me up hey it's leo laporte hope you enjoyed this little snippet from ask the tech guys of course you can get the full show for free subscribe in your favorite podcast client uh, or visit our website twit.tv atg you'll also find links right below this window right here <laughs> 